Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to perform a suspicious file analysis. So we have all been in that situation where we download a file or we are about to download a file or we receive a file, an attachment in, a, uh, in an email and we don't know whether that file is infected or not. And there are many reasons why that could happen, right? Like attacks are very sophisticated. Social engineering is very sophisticated right now. It could also mean that you are working on a device that does not have uh, an antivirus software installed or the antivirus is outdated or is corrupted. There are many reasons. So luckily you can use many different type of online services to do file analysis. And we're gonna be talking about three of them today. The first one, and I would say maybe the most popular one is VirusTotal. You can use the online version of it or you can download it to your computer and you can analyze the files right from, your, from within your system without having to go online but we're gonna be using the online version of it for this video today. So just go to uh, virustotal.com. That's gonna take you directly to the website and it's uh, very intuitive. Once you are here, you only need to uh, click on choose file. And in this case, I have the file that I wanna work on on my desktop and I called it in I intentionally called it infected files. It is an infected files, right? Uh, so I'm gonna open it up. And once you do it, the system automatically is going to analyze the file, it's gonna compare the hashes with known identities from different vendors and it's gonna tell you whether it believes the file is malware or not. As you can see here the system detected that or sees that 64 security vendors out of 72 have flagged this file as malicious, right? So the, the, the odds are pretty high. So it means that it is a malicious file. If you um, go, to, if you stay in the detection section of your scroll down, you're going to see the different vendors that have detected this file as malicious. Right, if you click here, that's gonna give you more information about the file name that this vendor assigned to the file. And if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna notice that in this case, for this specific file, some vendors did not detect it as malicious. And it could be many reasons for that, right? It could be perhaps that they haven't seen it. Um, out there in the wild, none of their systems they protect has been infected with it. So probably that's one of the reasons why they haven't identified that file as malicious. Uh, Virus Total is going to provide a lot of information uh, on that file. As you could see here, this is the hash that you, th that it has. If you click on the details, it's going to show you more information about the files. Perhaps this is something that you want to use for documentation purposes. Uh, if you go to relations, it's going to show you information about the, uh, the uh, detections, the domains where it was detected, uh, the IP addresses, so on and so forth. Um, you know, if you click here, that's going to show you like graphical information. This is pretty much like to give you more info, so some of this thing is, is not meaningful in the day-to-day -day type of activities, but, but it's good to, to have that information available. And on, on the behavior, you will see how the file behaves. Uh, if you have any uh, IDS rules that can detect it, you, know, you will see that in here. And you could see how it behaves in the, um, in the different uh, 
uh, I, I don't know if I should call this a framework, but the techniques, the minor techniques, right? The persistent, how it works in the persistent section, the privilege escalation, def defensive evasion, so on and so forth. So th that's how you do it. You know, this service is free to use the, the basic information and it's super useful. Uh, I would advise you that if you receive something in, you, in the email and you download it, first of all, don't download it if you believe that it is suspicious, but if you get to download it and you're still debating whether you should open it or not, use one of the services uh, to detect if the file is infected. Uh, another service uh, similar to this one is um, hybrid analysis. It's the same concept, just go there, click on the file. Right in this case, let's say that I want to uh, uh, analyze another file, right? Like this one right here, actually Chrome. Let's say that you know, you're like, oh my God, if this is executable, uh, suspicious or not. And then you do it and uh, let me have to click here. Right, public. And while that's happening, okay, it did it already, right? So as you could see here, that file is, um, is legit, right? Uh, you know, I know for a fact I downloaded it. That is the Chrome browser that I downloaded to this computer. Uh, but even, you know, you have these uh, security companies that, you know, they're, they're saying that the file is clean. It's, 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 a, it's a good file to have. Well, maybe not a good file to have. The file is not infected, right? So as you could see here, it, it only uses a handful of um, security vendors compared to virus total that uses about 72 uh, vendors. So, and um, the other one that I wanted to show you is um, Valkyrie.comodo.com. You you have the option of creating a um, a free account or a basic account uh, for this. Uh, and once you do it, you're going to be able to log in and analyze the files. And they do offer a commercial version that you pay for that, and it's going to give you more information about the files and the analysis is going to be greater than the basic but um, the basic is good enough you know for the day-to-day -day tasks that all system administrators security engineers are doing day-to-day -day. so in here you would go to analyze new file i'm gonna do a file upload but if you know the uh the hash you could type it in here so let me uh, select file and this time and I'm going to select the same file that I selected before. I'm going to click on analyze. I'm going to do view results. And this is doing its magic as you could see here it says connect them. All right. So what do we have here? We have a giant exclamation point this file contains malware right and it's going to provide information about the signature uh, detection if it was uh, a statistic analysis that it found it or the different type of analysis that it performs to detect whether a file is malicious or not so um, here you have the options um, as you could see, out of these three different uh, analyses that we went through, Virus Total is more advanced and it provides more inform information than the other two. And there are many more out there that you could use online, um, but I relied on Virus Total to analyze uh, files that I believe are suspicious before I do anything else. So um, this is uh, super useful. I hope that this information is also useful to you. And again, if you found this information meaningful and if you liked this video, just click on the like button and subscribe to the channel as we will be posting more 
videos for IT security best practices and security solutions. You have a great day. Bye.